Hey guys, we are making Starbucks cream cheese Danish dupes today. Welcome back to Lima Bean Living. If you guys are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my little motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. Today's video is kind of tackling like three things in one. It's a TikTok try video, which means I am trying a recipe that I found on TikTok. And this is just something I've kind of been doing throughout the last couple of months is just trying things that look interesting on TikTok and sharing my experiences with you guys. So today we are making Starbucks cream cheese Danish dupes. And that brings me into my next reason is because I just love them in general. Um, and my third reason is it's kind of in celebration of me surviving three years of motherhood. Aubrey's birthday is just around the corner and I figured this would be the perfect time to try this dupe. I've been meaning to try this myself. I've actually never worked with store-bought puff pastry. So it's a first for me in that case. And I don't know, I'm just super excited because Starbucks cream cheese Danish are so delicious and if I can make them at home for less, you know, less per Danish, that would be great. So let's get started. So to make this recipe, I picked up one packet of puff pastry from the grocery store. At Albertsons, they had different brands, but this is just one that we picked up. And then a brick of cream cheese, half a cup of sugar, and some vanilla. So on the TikTok that I saw, this vanilla was just kind of poured in, so I'm gonna be doing a teaspoon of vanilla and hopefully that will be okay. So let's assemble this thing. Okay, so I got my puff pastry from the fridge. I was gonna let it get more to room temperature, but it just says used dough from refrigerator on the bag, so I'm using it from the fridge. And it also says it comes with its own parchment paper, like that's what it's wrapped in. So it just says to bake it on that. So we don't need to like buy extra parchment paper or anything like that. Um, just open, cut and go, I guess. Now sometime in the future, I really wanna try to make like my own puff pastry, my own like croissants or whatever, where you take the dough or you make the dough and then you put the butter in and you make your layers and all that stuff. But from, you know, all the times I've seen people make it, it is very elaborate and takes forever and it's very difficult, so this is the way to go if you don't wanna do that for yourself and uh, if you just don't feel comfortable in general in the kitchen. All right, so we got our puff pastry. I'm just gonna kind of separate it because I'm not just baking it like this. I'm gonna cut this into like six rectangles. That will be about the size of a Starbucks Danish. Now, obviously, if I wanted to, I could make these a whole lot smaller, but I wanna get the full experience. <laughs> And we still have some guests here. Uh, we had a family wedding this past weekend. So it's my brother and his wife and I'm just excited to share this with them. So we're gonna keep this the real deal size. Obviously my eyeballing skills aren't perfect. These are a little bit smaller, but close enough. Let's go ahead and separate these. And we're gonna throw this in a 425 degree oven, although I have mine on convention, which is what the package recommended, and that turns it into a 400 degree oven. We're gonna bake this for 10 minutes, and then during that process, I'm gonna show you guys how to make the filling. So to make the filling, we're gonna use this one brick of cream cheese. It has been out on the counter softening for a bit. There we go. And then a half a cup of sugar. And like I said, in the TikTok, they just kind of poured in the vanilla. I like to use exact measurements. So I'm gonna use a teaspoon here. And if it seems like it's too much, then the next time I make this, I will go down a little bit. So let's go ahead and blend this up and make our filling. I'm gonna wipe down the sides and give this one good mix before we add this to the centers of our little puff pastry. So this is after 10 minutes in the oven. The package did say that the parchment paper will brown on the edges, so this is expected and normal, don't freak out. These aren't done yet, we want them to be more golden brown, but we're gonna put the filling in them first. So I'm gonna just do that by kind of squishing the center down a little bit, breaking the edges or breaking the little top crust, and then somehow portioning up all of this filling as equally as possible. So. Looking at how this turned out, I think that this is a nice amount of filling, definitely for the Danishes. I don't think that you would need to like double it or anything. It's very thick. 
and just like Starbucks, like the cream cheese filling doesn't go all the way to the edges, but if you want, you can try to spread it out further, but you're not gonna get maybe as much puff on the side when this goes back in the oven. So we're gonna throw this back in the oven for about eight to 10 minutes until it's more golden brown. So this is after about just eight minutes in the oven, same temperature. It said go eight to 10 minutes, but I felt like this was golden brown enough and the cream cheese filling was kind of getting dark. So I thought that this would be a good time to stop and take them out of the oven. So obviously they are piping hot right now. We are going to let them just kind of cool down enough so that they're still warm and we'll give it a try. All right, so it's still a little warm, but I wanna go get Aubrey so she can try some too. Let's go ahead and give this a try. There's tons of flaky layers, which I'm excited about. I don't know if when I make puff pastry by myself, I'll get as many layers, but that's good to know. Here we go, it's nothing. I can't say it tastes just like the Starbucks one. It tastes good. And in general, when I make things for myself, it's never as good as having someone else make it for me. Even my Cinnabons, which I love and I think taste very close to Cinnabons, when I make it for some reason, it just doesn't taste the same. But this is still really delicious and I'm excited to share it with my family. So at Albertsons, we got the cream cheese for $2 on sale and the puff pastry for about $3.50. And so this comes out to $5.50 for six total danishes. And if we were to get six danishes at Starbucks, it would be $19.50, probably plus some type of tax. So obviously price-wise, this is the way to go. And even if these items weren't on sale, it would just be $7 for these six danishes, which is still saving you $12.50. But that wraps up today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I think it is worth giving a try. Like I said, for some reason, whenever I make things that are supposed to be dupes, they never taste like the real thing in my opinion, but I have to factor in, I made it. I did the work and it just never tastes as good as when someone else makes it. So just keep that in mind. My family loved it though. My mom was like, yeah, this is definitely a make again thing. So I'm, you know, I think I'm gonna do it again. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you guys are new. I'd love for you to stick around and check out all of my content and I'll catch you in the next one. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness and I will catch you in the next one.